Hey guys, how are you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I have yet another movie review for you all, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is a horror film from South Korea, Korean language English subs, released in the year 2020, directed by Il Cho, and this film is called Alive. So Alive is set in a South Korean city that has been besieged by a zombie apocalyptic virus. Now everybody is turned, they're tearing each other to pieces, and anyone who hasn't been torn to pieces is roaming the streets looking for fresh meat. So this apartment complex, there is actually one survivor, and this survivor has holding himself up in his apartment. Now the rest of the residents have turned so any little noise will actually give, give him unwanted attention so he's trying his best to live his life in his newfound solitary confinement but it's having a devastating effect on him mentally so much so that he contemplates suicide he believes that this is the only way out of his predicament so just as, as he's about to take his life something happens that prevents him from doing so because he has found newfound hope for the future now there's a very very small light at the end of the tunnel but he believes that it's worth fighting for because if he can get to that light it's not only going to benefit him but also benefit humanity as he once knew it. So whether or not the situation is all lost or there is hope is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Alive. Ever since Parasite won the Best Picture at the Academy Awards, people have really opened their eyes to how good South Korean films are. Now, long before Parasite, I've been a massive fan of this country. They, they produce some of the best films that you will ever see, and I just think it's really good now that people are finally catching on to that fact. So, with a high level of you know, production and a high level of quality, you ultimately have a high level of expectation, and that can be good for films uh, d directed by Bong Joon-ho, Kim Ji-woon, Hong Ji-na, all these fantastic directors, but you also have a high level of expectation for lesser known films, and uh, Alive falls into that category. This is a Netflix film. This is a film directed by a director who really doesn't have the accolades of previous directors, and so these previous directors have built a pedestal that other directors really have to live up to. And so when you see that our new Korean film is out, then ultimately you're going to get that excitement, but it can be a little bit unfair because you've got these little known directors who are trying to strive up to a level that have been produced by legendary directors. And so that was the allowance I was making for Alive. Was this a movie that was going to be up there with the usual pedestal as far as quality and expectation was concerned, or was this a movie that was going to fall under the radar and be swept away into the depths of uh, forgetfulness? And so that was, I, that was the hesitation I had with Alive, but I saw the trial and I thought this looks fairly interesting. And what was Il Cho? going to produce in this experience. And in, in this experience, I will say, it is worth the watch. I thought it was actually quite interesting, especially in today's climate with uh, coronavirus. There were some instances in this movie that actually made me think of what we're actually going through uh, right now. And so I thought that was kind of a symbolic sort of, yeah, this is a zombie virus, but it can also double as the coronavirus, how we react and how we had to you know, ration our food and all that kind of stuff and ration the toilet paper. And this was something that I could relate to and I never thought I'd be able to relate to something like this and so it gave it a newfound sort of interest that I thought was missing in the previous movies when the coronavirus wasn't taking place and so that's the interesting aspect is that this movie comes out just as the coronavirus has hit us and so although this is a zombie film you can relate to some of the dilemmas that this man is actually facing and so you have your usual quality as far as production is concerned I thought it was very very well made I thought there were some really good set pieces of horror so if you are a zombie fan, then I think you're going to get something out of it. But I will say, it's not quite as creative as a lot of people make it out to be. If you've seen a French film called The Night Eats the World, or then you're going to get a lot of reminiscent sort of qualities in this film. This movie actually felt like a remake of that movie. So whether or not Il Cho has actually seen that French film, I don't know. But there is a lot of similar sort of elements to this film that actually made a sense of deja vu for me. And so I wasn't quite as invested in this movie as someone who hasn't seen that French film will be. And so the movie does go at a very monotonous pace. There, that level of monotony is there very deliberately and it can work, but unfortunately I didn't think the main character was as interesting as he really needed it to be. The, the, direct, the uh, actor doesn't get, get a chance to betray a character that you can really, really relate to. You can relate to the situation, but you can't relate to him so much as a person. And there are connections that he makes in the film, throughout the film, that I thought, okay, it was there, but it was very vague. And the whole film has that vague 
high quality. It doesn't know whether or, what, or not it wants to be a symbolic film, it doesn't know whether it wants to be a straight out zombie movie or a survival film or a character study of a person put into an extreme situation. So because of it's all very vague, nothing really hits you with a gut punch. And that gut punch is really what the film needed is because if you have a film that does have very limited settings, very limited characters, you have to have a level of interest. And that was my criticism of The Night Eats the World, is that it didn't have that punch, it didn't have that quality to make a memorable film, whereas Alive has that very similar problem, is that yes it has similar qualities in the good things that the, that French movie had, but it also has similar qualities in the negatives that the, that movie produced. Therefore I just couldn't get enough of a personality of its own to really separate it from that French film, and both films really fell short of actually making it a fantastic experience. So the acting was good, there are some set pieces that I thought were fairly interesting, but unfortunately this is a Netflix film, and it feels like a Netflix film. It doesn't feel like one of those really, really good South Korean movies that have got the attention of the world. This is not a film that's going to grab that attention. This is a film that you're going to watch late on a Friday night. You're going to be happy that you saw it, but you're not really going to want to go back and see it. You're not really going to go out there and say to the world that this is a fantastic film. It just doesn't have that quality about it. It doesn't have the usual sort of level that South Korea produced, and so it does fall into the pile of films that you can pass the opportunity to see. If you get a chance to see it, it is well worth your time, but I really wouldn't go out of your way to actually track it down. So that's unfortunate, but um, yeah, that's the way it is. Not all South Korean films can be a knockout, and as a result of that, I'm going to give uh, a live two stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.